Hey everyone, welcome to Hilton Quiver Season 11. This season's Team of Five Mystery Teams. We got 25 players. Golden Heads are on, heal three hearts, absorbs off. Nether's on, length is two hours until meetup. PvP's on a second episode, or 20 minutes in. Horses are off. Your two potions are off, splash potions are off. New stocking is stealing. I don't have Tommy to explain the plays. Hello there. So, this season we've got a fantastic cast of from your Fuka Doges to your Ginger Hot Dogs. So, starting all the way over here, we got Fairy Juice. Returning, we got new player, shut up, Rick. <laughs> it's almost like people care. We have new player, Michael. He's Michael. I've never seen him before, never played this round before. It's Michael. Um, here we have returning player, Plant One Fish. Pretty good. We have Jake something. Who He's played every season, right? Jake, who? Give, give no, he missed one, I thought. Yeah, well, he's, he's... Okay, we have Angels of PC <laughs> returning from uh, last season, I think, right? Yeah. We have new player, meme underscore machine. He's a new player, never before seen. Um, we have Bob, sir. Look at that. Huh? Anyone? Okay. We have uh, returning, also from last season, uh, Speedy Joe. He's pretty fast. We have, also returning from last season, we have Cryptic. Only Australian that we actually like here. And next up, we have uh, the most confusing man alive, uh, Vanny. How's it going, Vanny? We have the real meme underscore machine, Kanako. We have. Uh, Speedo, dude. We have the uh, honey who. He's from hell. Ha! <laughs> Funny. No, no. What else we got? This retarded little. Bro or Speedo Shire, how's it going? How's it going? We have a new player! My personal favorite new player. The rest can really just be shit and die. I'm cool with that. Zavolpus! Yeah, so. <laughs> we have returning players uh, Ginger Hot Dog, aka Crimson5M. How's it going? We have returning all the way from season 6, yeah. right? Uh, Zydox! How's it going? Welcome back. We have returning from season... Eight? Last season. No, he played last season. Bullion, <laughs> how's it going, bro? Um, and otherwise... Up top. Up top I in have... the trees, man. Okay, yeah, I was wondering. We have, uh, Speedo Shire's really kind of greasy older brother. What? Fukano! How's it going? Uh, then we have the Australian with the most swag. Uh... Lord Laylaps, he's somewhere, it's not... Over here. Yeah, well, wherever he is. Then we have the... Steve, that's... He's a, he's a ripper. Ripper Steve! M5, not to be confused with 5M. Next up, we have the orangest duck. He's an orange duck, that's what he is. Squab. Squab, he is an orange duck. And, uh... Also, a moment in silence for Infinite Turbine. He has lost his perfect participation. Oh, rest in... From last minute plans by his parents. Um, and we have another newcomer. I have no idea where he is. But, uh, Neon Tiger. Oh. Where's Neon? I forgot about him. <laughs> oh, he's Welcome right there. Neon Tiger. Uh, so, I introduced everybody, right? Then we have the... The hostess with the most is Tommy SX, and the, the organizer with the most denies. <laughs> Count 78! Hold on. Alright. All right. So, without further ado, past the hour and 20 Wait, we delays. We said the game mode, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, Hilton Quiver Season 11, fuck yeah!
how's it going everybody? Welcome to Hilton Corver Season 11. Uh, this time around, we're doing Mystery Teams of 5. That's, uh, something. I have a lot of things to do, um, as we are recording this. It is currently the, uh, weekend before my mid-year exams, and the day before my second attempt at my uh, road test for my license, so hopefully I pass tomorrow, we'll, uh, we'll see about that. And, um, yeah, so I've, I've come back to Hilton Quiver, and obviously under a different name again, because I wouldn't be who I am if I didn't change my name every two times I play a recorded round. Um, but yeah, this is Moved, Zero Zero, Stupid Minecraft, and, uh, I don't really know what my plan is, I guess I'll probably try and just get geared up really fast and then get a teammate, but I'm not sure. Don't know how I plan to play this at all. I haven't warmed up either, so this is going to be something. Um, I mean, I played earlier this morning, but I was, like, not trying at all. <laughs> played on, um, the park and Badline Meetup Sims. Let's just get this going really fast. As you can see, I am Dark Green Wool. Apples drop from all trees. Uh, my sounds are good. And I don't think there's anything in this cave, yeah, so. I'll just go over here. Apple rates are 1%, and they drop from all trees, apparently. That's good. Uh, hopefully I can find a man or a few men that are on my team. Uh, I'm gonna put my wool over there. Because I don't want to accidentally, uh, reveal it at any point in time, because I'm going to do the strat that um, a few people do. If they see somebody who isn't on their team, wait for them to reveal teams first, and then uh, just run away or show your wool as well if you're on their team. Uh, I don't really know how I plan to find a teammate. I mean, I could technically just probably run along the wall for a while and try and find one, but I don't know. Uh, I think I'm in channel 13, so I have to remember that, because if I find somebody, I will have to tell them. That's interesting, a single block of snow against the, uh, wall. I don't have any chickens or leather, so that's really annoying, but I guess I'll just have to deal with pigs for now. Uh, this is actually, this area is very reminiscent of, like, the Evo 7 area that, uh, short and above fought. Diana and I bear, I think, in Evo 3, not Evo 7. Um, but yeah. Good for you, Bob. There's a swamp here, which means it's likely... Hello. Nope. Tommy and I are not on a team, confirmed. Tommy is dark blue, good to know. Uh, did he get- he did not get the sugar cane from down there. Interesting. Alright. So Tommy Sex and I are not on the same team, which is sort of unfortunate, because I enjoy teaming with him, but... Oh well. I'll just deal with it. Uh, somebody I do want to team with this game, or some people that I want to team with this game, are like Gwep, Ripper Steve, um, Fairy, and like... I don't know. Uh, Crimson, probably? I don't know. Because, like, there's only... Uh, I have a 20% chance of being with anybody in this game, and clearly with Tommy, my odds were outweighed, so... Um, yeah. What I mean by that is, um... There's five teams of five, because we have 25 players, so that means that there's... Uh, obviously, if you take 100 and divide it by five, you get 20, so... <laughs> Like I said, 20% chance. The colors are probably like green, blue, red, yellow, and like orange maybe, or purple. Um, I'm gonna just run over here in this swamp and hopefully find another person, but we'll see. Uh, I haven't really, I didn't really prepare, like, mentally for this recording round, so I probably just should have, like, stopped, or not played, but I don't know. Um, like, in terms of commentary, I'm not exactly ready, so hopefully I can find a teammate somewhat soon, um, because I'm not sure I will be able to keep up my attempts at continuing to, uh, spew my thoughts from my mouth into your 
speakers. Um, but yeah, I am currently in the phase of my life. I'm 18 years old. I turned 18 last month. Uh, I'm currently in the phase of my life where I'm starting to actually try to finally transition into being an adult. And let me tell you, it's not exactly um, something I looked forward to, and it's definitely not something I'm excited about now. Um, but of course, it, it's going to have to happen to everybody at one point, so I guess I'll just... I mean, I don't really have a choice but to deal with it right now. I know people uh, at my school who started preparing for like jobs and driving stuff like the second they possibly could. Whereas I sort of took it slow and waited to do driving school until last summer in my junior year of high school, which is like a year later than everybody else, so that would definitely explain uh, why I'm far behind everybody. I waited to really like get heavy into applying for jobs until I could drive because I feel like it'll be easier just for um, my family's sake. Uh, I could just drive myself to and from work instead of having them drive me all the time. Uh, Nai sees Tommy, so there's a potential that Tommy and I could be on a team. Uh, I'm in a swamp, and I'm surprised I haven't seen anybody yet, but I guess that's just how this game's gonna play for now. Uh, PvP is on in 13 minutes, which means that we're just about halfway through the first episode. There's another apple here, I want to get a few of these. Uh, and if there's a surface cave anywhere here, that would be nice, so we could nab a bit of iron. Um, yeah, that's good. Hopefully this is like an 8 van or so. Um, Tommy and Jake are on a team, or Tommy and I are on a team, which is pretty clear now because they both said so on... <laughs> they, said, they both said Jake's name and shout at the same time. Um, at least I'm presuming. Uh, so, Andrizzle's first damage, or Jake is, I don't know. Uh, Kelt sees Nihon. I'm not gonna say anybody's names in chat, um, because obviously it would sort of hint at who is on what team. But, um, yeah, so that's, that's how I'm going. Uh, you guys are stealing my swamp, says Nai. Okay, uh, so that means Nai is in the vicinity of me, because there's a swamp probably around this area, considering they typically are within close range of each other. Uh, when I get back up here and start smelting stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, whatchamacallit, I'm gonna go ahead and start smelting my iron. Actually, if there's any over here, that would be great too. No, there isn't, okay. Uh, I did see an apple on the ground, right there. Are there any more apples around here? Because, I mean, I cut down a bunch of trees, so I should have at least a few. There's one. Um, and it doesn't look like there is one here as well. So I have six now, that's pretty good. Jake is on... Yeah, Jake's trying to find out. Nope. Jake and I are not on the same team. And that confirms to me also that there is a purple team in the game. Or rather, magenta. Um, so... That's interesting. I've seen two people so far who are not on my team, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is, I suppose. Um... I'm gonna keep running around trying to find people. I would have stuck around that area, but now that Jake's there, it tells me that probably Nye is gonna come back and all that sort of stuff. Uh, somebody pillared up right there with cobble. That's good to know. And I haven't been able to smelt my stuff yet, so I can't drink, which means that my lips are getting very dry very fast. That's not a cave. I wanna find people, come on. More chickens up here. I'll take these, because I sort of need arrows. Uh, not that I have a bow yet, but I will hopefully have one by the first night. Um, because that will make it significantly easier to, uh, fight off teams if I don't find my own team immediately. Uh, I'm gonna just go up this mountain, because going up and over is probably better than, uh, going around. And plus, I have a better chance of seeing somebody from up here while I smelt things. So, we'll see. Um... I don't see anybody right now, so I guess I'll go back down. But there are chickens here, so it tells me that nobody really came up here yet. Or they just avoided the chickens for whatever reason. Um, but I have a pretty decent amount of feathers, so that's nice. Uh, let's see. The taiga there. I want to kind of stay in open area because that'll obviously help people find me better. And I really need to find people, so... Uh, 
because especially I don't want to be stuck on my own against multiple teams, because that would clearly be a bad thing. <laughs> and uh, I gotta keep eating raw food because I'm too lazy to stop and cook my stuff. Oh man, I'm gonna mine this coal, I suppose, and I guess I'll probably try and find a cave, because everybody else is probably gonna go down, so the chances of me finding... I did not find a teammate on the first day, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, maybe if I'm lucky I can find a person before I go down, but I don't know. Um, Speedo says, bye dad, okay. I don't know who he's talking to. Oh, there's cows right there, so actually I'm gonna grab those. Because I also need leather, so that is indeed a thing. Um, they told me, you can see on the bottom left of my screen that I'm holding my key while sprinting, and they literally said last minute that uh, toggle sprint wasn't allowed, which is sort of annoying because recorded grounds always do that. They wait until last minute to say, oh yeah, hey, um, whatchamacallit, Fulbright isn't allowed, or whatever. And it's, it's just stupid because then... Everybody who's sitting in the spawn waiting for the game to start goes, Wait, what? Is this allowed? Is this allowed? So it just generally cr causes a uh, very large problem. And while this loads, I guess I can sip take a sip of water. Fairy sees Tommy. I swear to God, if Tommy and Fairy are on a team, I'm gonna be sad. Because that means that, uh, me and Fairy are not on a team. There's a ravine here. I could go down. Um, yeah, it looks like nobody's been down here, so I could. No, I might, actually. Yeah, let's do it. Creep down here, get a bit, bit of iron, and then go back up. Continue hunting. Tommy and Fairy are on the same team. <laughs> okay. People keep saying, like, everybody's names in chat, it's pretty silly, but... Like, that's the exclusive reason why I'm choosing not to say anybody na anybody's name in chat, because then everybody's gonna be like, Oh, is he with him? Or... It's just silly. Um... This was originally planned to be a Mystery Team of Four game, but that didn't happen because... Um... People were being sketchy on whether or not they were capable of playing or not, so... We decided to get a few subs, and then, of course, it, player count was bumped up to 25, and what else can you really do with 25 but 5 teams of 5? Which is sort of annoying, because it lessens, uh, actually it greatens the chance of people to win, and I sort of like it when there are more um, possibilities for people to win, because it obviously adds to more unpredictabil unpredictability amongst recorded grounds, but... I suppose that's just how the way the cookie's gonna crumble. Um, I don't really have much coal, but I think there's, yeah, there's some right next to me, so I don't really have to worry about that. Split this in half and put that there, and then we'll mine some of this. And get going on the road again immediately. As soon as we can. Uh, I don't know if other people are gonna be going up second episode to try and find people, but I know I certainly am. So hopefully I do find other people, because, I mean, clearly who doesn't want to be with their team. Uh, but let me try and actually make a staircase upwards, so that way I can, um, just sort of get in and out of this area pretty easily. Okay, and I don't see anybody around, so that probably means that nobody's gonna be near me, which is good. Um... However, I didn't really see any spiders either when I poked up there, and that's what I was sort of looking for, so... That's kind of unfortunate, but I guess it is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna just peek up here again, because you never know. I think these swords are actually one shorter than default. That's what it looks like, anyway. Uh, and there is another ravine over there, actually. What does the bow look like? The bow's just default as well. Although it actually might be slightly saturated, I can't really tell, but... I really wish that somebody I found was on my team, because I feel like that's where I'm going to start failing here, is at finding a teammate. Hopefully if I find somebody, they don't want to fight me immediately, um, because that would be just a uh, sad tale. But um, 
Yeah. You, can you tame a bunny? I mean, sure, Vanny. <laughs> if so, how? <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Um, I s could have sworn. Okay, I can split this up actually. Let me make a pick now, and then I'll get a bucket going ASAP. And that goes in slot 6, swap out my axe. And I think I'm good to go here. I'm just gonna... Actually, I'll take 3 extra for another iron pick just in case, but otherwise I'll leave the iron here. Grab these, and we're gonna go up and go continue looking for things. People and or spiders. Um, I'm gonna just run along this river, because there's only one skeleton there, and that can't really do much to me. There's a spider right next to it. Come here, you. Two string immediately, thank you. It's gonna be useful, because if I can find another spider, then I can fight off anybody who wants to fight me, which is good. Uh... I'm really hoping that I can find somebody, but the chances of that are sort of slim, considering I uh, stretched off the wall. If I stuck to the wall, actually, I probably would have had a better chance of finding teammates, because I feel like that's what Tommy and other people did. Um, but there is a swamp here. That's interesting. So there's another swamp, and that hopefully means that I will be able to find somebody, but I don't know what the chances of that are. Uh, Kaoki... I see Tommy again with no armor. Of course, he's up on the surface. Uh, I could kill Tommy straight off the bat, but I don't know if I want to do that, really. I didn't get, um... Whatchamacallit, either. Enough iron for boots. Oh, yeah, I did. What? Okay. <laughs> I thought I didn't have boots for whatever reason. That's, I guess that's what I get for looking too fast. <laughs> um, hopefully I can find somebody who isn't Tommy. I mean, I don't really want to, like, I saw him earlier, so now I feel like if I go back to him, it will be sort of, like, cuntly, but I don't really know. Um, or dickish, rather. Dickish is probably better. Uh, two string. I just need one more. Come on, do this for me, please, game. <laughs> so Tommy is still alone. He's either alone or he's split up from his team. And either way, I found him again, but I'm not going to go back to him now, because I feel like that will just be not very nice at all. Uh, he's going to have a lot of apples, um, probably, because he... That's, t that's typically what Tommy does every game, too. Like, he stays up, like, all the first episode getting trees. Like, I don't know why he spends that much time with it, but, I mean, he can do him, I guess. Alright, there's another spider here. I'm going to grab this. Hopefully I can get one string off of him. Come here. Nope, nothing, alright. The Endermen, don't walk into the water, please, because I want to kill you. Actually, this witch is there now, so I probably can't. Well, now I can, because you're right there. There's a string right here, somebody missed. I will grab that gladly, and run with it. Um, there's a witch down there, nobody down there. Uh, I'm going to go up on the mountain over here and grind gravel. Because there is a very small chance that people will be over here. Get out of here, slime. <laughs> I don't know, that was terrible aim. Just don't look at that ever again. Um, yeah, you didn't see anything. Anyway, hopefully I can find somebody pretty soon. Um, and hopefully they're on my team, because I don't want to kill anybody this early. Because I'll feel like a giant douchebag, but... Nether's not on. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, well... Yeah, it was advertised as on. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, I don't see anybody in this open vicinity, so I should be good for the first few seconds of this episode. Flint rates are 20%, I have 22 fucking things, so let me do this really fast. And, uh, grab as much flint as I can possibly get, so that if I do come across a man or multiple men, I can fight them off. Uh, I'm gonna do my best not to reveal my bow, because that will be a factor that will scare teams off if they try to fight me. Uh, so... 
Gotta think about the strategy, my men. I'm watching, and females watching too, I suppose, because there are a few. Um, but yeah, I'm also, my internet is not very consistent at all, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is.